Hi guys, here's another edition of What's Monica Eating? Do, 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 do. Okay, now what we're eating today is petite polymers. Now, I don't know if y'all know what these are, but you've seen them everywhere at every um, bakery pretty much that sells cookies and pastries. You've seen them at fairs and festivals. You've seen them almost any and everywhere. Most people don't really eat them. And I really think that they don't know what it is, but I'm here to tell you. Hee -hee. Okay, these particular ones I got from Costco's. Okay, they come, let's say maybe about 30 or so in the pack, give or take a few. They're from the Sugar Bowl Bakery and they're petite polymers because they can be really big. Polymers are also known as elephant ears. I know you heard that too. Now, these are basically puff pastry, sugared puff pastry, wrapped in a little heart shape and um, baked. That's the way it looks like, elephant ears. Everybody's seen them places and they just sometimes don't know what it is. So there's sugar on it, light crystal, crystallized sugar on it, and um, they're just baked to a nice flaky crust. Now. See, it's brown on one side, lighter brown on the other. You can't cook them too long because, of course, they'll burn. And you want them to crisp, just like that, crisp. Now, it does look hard. It looks hard. It looks rough. It doesn't look good. But once you put it in your mouth, that buttery golden goodness that comes from the buttery, the butter of the puff pastry, just set your mouth on fire, plus the little bit of sugar that's in it is great. The best part of an elephant ear or polymer is the inside, right in here. That's where all the sugar, the butter, as you can see, it's a different texture in here. That's where all the sugar, the butter, the cream, all that good stuff gets locked into that little area right there. And it's the chewiest, the tastiest, the butteriest ever. So, um, look how good you can see the sugar. Look how good that looks. Trust me, if you like pastries, if you like desserts, you're going to like these. If you like danishes and um, croissants, think of it like that. Like a, like the danish and a croissant had a love child. That's what, it, what this is. And I suggest you try it. Try you, you may not want to get the big one from Costco's, but go to your local bakery, dessert, you know, stand or cafe or something like that. And if you see them, pick these up. These are one of my favorite because they're not too sweet. So if you don't like sweets that much, it's not going to turn you off. And they're not um, all soft and doughy and they don't weigh you down like donuts can or, you know, cakes and um, pies. This is a perfect little snack. Great for the kitties that do like um, pastries. Great. So, all right. Here's another edition of What's Monica Eating. Stay tuned. Bye.